Hi, I'm Rob from Skinster Genius, and today I'm going to show you how to install both sockets and pins on the end of a wire uh, for Deutsch style connectors. That's both the HD style and the DT styles. And let's get started. The most common wire that we use here is a 16 to 18 gauge stranded copper wire. If you look back when, when it's stripped, you can see that there's several strands here. So the first thing you want to do is strip it back and you can use the actual socket or pin as an indicator. There's a little nub here and so you can just look at, there's about what I want for length with a little bit hanging out the bottom. Works out to be about just a little over a quarter of an inch. All I do is use my strippers. Turn it. So we'll fit into the socket very easily and now I'm ready to go. So I'm going to show you three methods today. One is using the actual Deutsch style uh, factory grade uh, crimper. This thing's about $300. Next one is one that we, we can readily find off eBay, which we'll probably be offering in the future. These run about $30. And then the last but not least is about a $3 little soldering pen that I, that I ordered off, off of eBay as well. For the soldering pen, of course, you need to have solder. Uh, you need to use a flux core electronic style solder. Do not use try to use a plumbing style solder. It's not just not going to work. It's make a, going to make a great big mess. So the first thing that I need to do is I need to set this to the number 16 setting here. You see that one's actually highlighted. Okay. And then what I want to do is I need to set the depth. So I take one of my sockets, I drop it in, and I want to undo the little knurled nut here, and I want to screw it up until. This comes in flush at the very end here. Then I hit my set, kind of feel with my finger, and it's ready to go. Okay, so all I'm going to do is I'm going to install it on the end of the wire. You see I've got a little bit showing here. Slide it into my crimper, squeeze down, and it'll actually hold it until I go past center, and then it releases. We've got a nice firm crimp here. Next thing I do is I give it a good tug to make sure that it did set up properly, and now I'm good to go. The next one is this inexpensive crimp tool I bought for about $30 on eBay. Uh, check our website, we may be offering this in the future. Same thing, I've got my wire stripped back here. Slide it aside. And what I want to do is I want to get on the other side of that bulb, so towards the back end here. Squeeze down. Okay, and here's my setting. So I want to make sure that I'm on the hardest setting possible. So this is going for the smallest wire. Put a nice crimp in here, give it a tug, I'm good to go. And last but not least, we're going to solder. We're going to use this little soldering pen. I'm going to use this little holder here. You can literally, if you're out in the field, you can use a vice grip as long as you do it nice and lightly just to hold the pin in place. I want to slide my wire down into place here. Okay, right. let my pin up. Last but not least, solder. What we want to do is we want to leave a little bit of the wire open here. Get out our solder. Heat it up a little bit. Put our solder in here. cool for a minute and we're good to go so if you like what you've seen today and, you're, and we're actually teaching you something we'd really appreciate it if you'd support us by buying the products off of our site not going to other people that are copying a lot of the things that we're doing and just come and just buy your products from us uh, we'll always give you the best support we'll give you the best products at the best possible price thank you